Hello, my name is Uche Nancy. I thank you all for subscribing on our channel Uche Nancy TV. Thank you very much. Keep on subscribing to our channel with that TV because there won't be anything Uche Nancy TV. So much love from me and my family. Love you. Hello, who are you? I'm a doctor from St. Charles Hospital Children Department. Okay. Mr. Dave sent me here to check up on his sick child. Let me see your ID. Oh. And what do you have in your basket? Nothing, just some medicine. Let her in. Okay, ma'am, I'm sorry. You can go in. What do we do now? It will be difficult for us to escape. Chill. I have a plan. Thank you so much. I hope to see you tomorrow. No problem. 
problem. Just make sure you give him the drugs and you'll be fine. Thank you. Oh, my poor baby is so cranky because of the injunction. And your baby is so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, he's going to be fine. Thank you. Have you seen Madame anywhere around? She should be inside. No, she's not. I've searched everywhere. She's nowhere to be found. Shit! You're in trouble! Sorry, sir. She is kid. Where is her location now? Our tracking of our shoes, Mr. Paul, since we did this. Sir, me and my boys are ready to attack and bring him down. Retreat. Sir? I said retreat. Yes, sir. Now get out. Yes, sir.
Fair God, son. But I said I am not interested. Please trust me, just follow me outside. Hope 
everything went well. Yes, Chief. She'll recover soon. But she needs to abstain from sex so that she doesn't get pregnant again. Oh, don't worry. This time, it will be with the right person. That's okay. Allow her to rest. In a few days, she'll be okay. It's okay. Thank you so much for everything. You're welcome, Chief. But if you excuse me, I have some other patients to attend to. Thank you for coming back to my life. I will never treat you for anything in this world. You will always matter to me. You mean the world to me. Where is my daughter? Where is my daughter, Dave? I ask again, where is my daughter? I entrusted her in your care. And she has been missing for the past few days. You don't bother about it. What kind of a man are you? Now listen, Dave. If I lose my daughter, you have me to contend with. I would have contended with you long ago, Mr. Nelson. 
How do you mean? Your daughter. You gave your pregnant daughter to me as a wife. And now your daughter has gone back to a rattled, wretched and miserable Ferguson of a boyfriend. That's a lie. I have never been this serious, Mr. Nelson. Hated me so much. Yeah. She hated me with a passion. And constantly she keeps abusing me. And you know what? She looked at me and told me to my face that she hates me. That she hates me so much. That she's in love with Ferguson. Anyways, that was the very first time and the only time I laid my hands on your daughter. After which, I had to run a background check on your daughter, Queen. And also to that riffraff, that bastard, that red tied man called Ferguson. information. Here. Thank you, sir. I go through the papers and pictures, my heart shattered into pieces. So I started suspecting the pregnancy she was carrying. We only made love once since we got married, so I opted for a DNA test. trying to tell me. I'm sorry, Mr. Dave. But according to the paternity test, your claims are right. He's not your son. I'm finished. Queen has finished me. I am so ashamed of myself. Queen has killed me. Queen has finished me. How could she? I mean, how could she bore another man's child in my house? How? How 
could she burn the man's son for me? Me. So I shamed myself. I'm so shattered. I, 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 I am dumb. It's okay, Mr. Dave. It's okay. Just take it easy, okay? It's well. I know it's not easy, but just calm down. I'm taking it easy. I am calm. How am I going to handle this situation? What you just told me right now should remain confidential. It's okay, sir. You have my word. For my ears only. Thank you. Sir, your father, sir. of annoyance, I sent my men to beat up the so-called boyfriend responsible for the pregnancy. I wanted him dead. But a young man rescued him. Since then, I decided to stay away from your daughter, my wife. Because I don't want to cause a fuse that will affect our political career. And also the media. Very important. So, letting her off the hook was the best decision I took. For the best of our career. <sighs> it's okay, Dave. I'm so ashamed of myself. I must apologize for whatever my daughter might have cost you. And I advise we we lie low now until we find her. I must thank you for having my interest at heart. <sighs> Mr. Nelson, as soon as you find her, just let me know.
sorry, Dad. I know I deserve every punishment. And I am willing to accept it. Please. Please, I beg you. Spare my son and his father. They have done nothing wrong. I will take responsibility for everything. I'm not 